lo tenemos hoy, mañana y pasado y con la ayuda que estamos teniendo a ver si me pongo al día a leer un poquito más de información para poder comentar un poquito mejor los juegos eh, a ver, sí, Wolf Yes, Lorena. Ah, lo que dijo Wolf es que, bueno, <risa> eh, el club de castores <risa> está en uno de los top, me de los, de los, de los, por ahí de los favoritos, incluyendo a las chicas de Akaren de Noruega y de la, las chicas de Duisburg de Alemania. Y, eh, bueno, a ver, vamos a ver contra el equipo de Macos en Estados Unidos y ya comenzó el partido. A ver, y castores en azul, recuperó el balón, casi eh, lo pierden ahí, pero vienen en, en ataque y ya están debajo de la portería de los Estados Unidos. So, Colombia just got the, the ball and started an attack in the uh, goalie of the, uh, uh, the USA. USA. So uh, USA East, East Heaven Macros in white and the Castores uh, from Colombia in blue and the Castores uh, going in the, into the uh, area, into the pool uh, area of uh, the East Heaven Macros and uh, swim they will start to swimming around the basket uh, let's see what uh, they have uh, as a new strategy or their gameplay of their uh, uh, attack strategy but right now the offense uh, of uh, usa is taking a uh, hard pressure on the uh, colombians and it's not easy for them to break through no, no, because no, no, there's always a four checker it's on, on this one yeah yeah, ah, yeah, okay. yeah. but the the <laughs> E7 yeah. seven Marcos do a good yes. job in their offensive ah, right, to, to yeah, keep them aware. Sorry. Their defense offensive yep. is very fast and very in between, so the Castores don't have a chance to get close to the to the basket. They do okay. a very good job here, the the E7 Marcos to control the game of the uh, Castores, even though they don't cannot get hold of the ball. So this is very tiring what the E7 Marcos are doing here and. Uh, this is the plan, I think, of the Castores. Put enough pressure for a long time to finally uh, find the gap and get in between the defense. And here we are, the first time the uh, Castores get closer Castores. to the basket, and it's the first goal. Quería preguntarle, Juan Pablo, you have a 90% juniors this year. This is uh, from the US or this is from Colombia you're talking about? You know, we have a lot of, you know, of Colombians participating guess it's in the US, Australia. Necos because uh, they haven't emigrated there and then they have started a team there so sometimes I will need your help uh, goal, and we go back empty. in the game um, it's uh, two minutes uh, into the first half and now East Ham Macos try to break through uh, the middle field uh, defense for checking defense of the Castores it's a free throw against the Castores which makes it even easier for the uh, Marcos to go and now uh, Marco player oh. stole the basket of the uh, Castores but she didn't stay long because the ball took too long to get through to her the foot checking of the Castores is also very heavy it's comparable to the one we saw from the Marcos yeah yeah estamos diciendo que estaban los medios están haciendo un muy buen trabajo para defender y para mantener el balón alejado le pasaba a las chicas de Casoras cuando estaban atacando al equipo de los Estados Unidos y le está pasando ahora a los equipos de los Estados Unidos <risa> atacando a la portería de Colombia está difícil acercarse entonces realmente eh, no han logrado generar eh, una oportunidad de, de, de peligrosa de gol eh, han hecho un pase ahí que no ha llegado y ahora están las chicas de eh, Castores haciendo el contraataque de A2 ya están debajo de la portería de los Estados Unidos y eh, están atacando el, o sea, la, la media altura, pero bueno, al, han podido defender las chicas eh, de Macos. Y ahora eh, tenemos dos, tratando, tres de las chicas colombianas tratando de acercarse y poder pasar la defensa. Pero están ahí todavía las chicas de Macos en la posición y haciéndoles el trabajo difícil. Sin embargo, las chicas de Castoras eh, generan bastante presión por un tiempo de tiempo. Pueden, pueden construir un par de olas de ataque. Eh, lo suficiente para forzar eh, el error, ya lo vimos antes. So I was saying, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, go, go ahead, uh, please. That, uh, yeah, the girls from Castoras um, are building up wave of attack, and eventually, I mean, Macos uh, are defending very good. They're very disciplined, and they're, they're always there. But Castoras are creating such a pressure that eventually they're forcing the mistake, like they did in the first goal. However. It looks like Michael's recover and it's a bit better in positioning and reacting to the attack of uh, Casola. But now we have one against one. She was on the back of the goalie 
and uh, got oh now we have an open basket one of the castoras just got the the, 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 the goalie stole it and could score. I mean, good job. 2-0, 2-0 para Castores. Dijimos desde el principio que eh, fue, eh, era uno de los favoritos. Y Juan Pablo is telling us, thank you for all the information you can give us, guys. It was the base of the junior national team. Okay. For the U.S., okay. So the, the U.S. have 90% of the team of Marcos are juniors which is amazing, I mean, what they're doing. Okay, yeah, they did a uh, uh, very good job, and you see the Castores have more experience yep. uh, on in uh, uh, attacking and keeping the control of the game here, and uh, the uh, the Marcos are defending very well, very well. You see they are up for it, they have the bite, they have the, the let's say, aggressi aggressivi aggressive aggressivity, aggressiveness. Aggressiveness to, to go forward and uh, to occupy uh, the Castores. There's a call from the referee from uh, above. Uh, it's a free throw against uh, the Marcos. And uh, yeah, you can see the, the, the game of the Castores is, is there is more push into the defense of the uh, Marcos, and the Marcos have a really hard time getting out of it and creating their own attack pattern on the field and the basket of the Castores. And now another attack by the Castores. And they come from above, tackled the uh, player from the Marcos, tried to tackle the attacker from above, away uh, over the goalkeeper. Second Castores player was above uh, in the basket, but uh, one of the Marcos got out of this oh. melee and she lost the ball in the middle of the field to a Castores player because there was no one that she was no, in between and th th she was, intercepted the pass. The yeah, that's, that's a and another that's attack from Castores. They come in with three players, they stole the basket away and the defender, the goalkeeper, was just overwhelmed by these three players getting into the basket get around her, all around her, and she didn't know where the ball was, and it was really difficult to defend. Y gol para las castoras, el tercer gol, están haciendo oh, un juego muy bueno contra las chicas de Macos. Las chicas de Macos, la verdad, están haciendo una defensa muy buena, pero les está costando salir, y cuando eh, han podido salir, lamentablemente, eh, han perdido el pase, así que bueno, eh, se ve que las chicas de Castora es un equipo que tiene más experiencia y están pudiendo dominar el partido, pero eh, la defensa de los Estados Unidos está, o sea, si pensamos que el 90% son juniors, han sido un trabajo excepcional, eh, no tienen tanta experiencia, eh, son más jóvenes, quizás hasta la fuerza sea un poquito menor, así que están haciendo muy buen trabajo defendiendo. Tenemos de nuevo a las chicas de Castora sobre la portera, mm, tratan de venir sobre la esquina cerrada y empiezan a atacar desde arriba y tratan de pasar para abajo ahora están tratando de entrar por la, y pasan el balón viene siempre del lado cerrado medio cerrado y eh, tenemos a la defensora en posición tenemos a la portera en posición and we have uh, the team of castores attacking on the right hand side while the team from macos is being in position waiting the girls from Colombia come mainly from the center end on the close side, but eventually they try to go left if that uh, if they cannot create an opportunity. Now we have the, um, the Castora one on one. Okay, the defender just got on time and grabbed the ball and trying to pull up the uh, me, uh, the attacker of the Colombian team. And now they are in the set first in the cluster, and uh, let's see if they can recover the ball. In try to uh, start a counter-attack. I mean, it's been two and two, and uh, we can't <coughs> see who is having the ball right now. Oh, okay, Castores. Castores still in ball possession, going in um, on the basket again of the Marcos, and, and really you see the Marcos are struggling to keep up with the Castores, but they do a good job. It's just the, 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 the Castores come in uh, at, at one point with a lot of force, or like this, in a one-on-one -on -one situation from the close side over the head. Didn't work out, but uh, there was a Castores waiting on the open side, and uh, Marco, uh, defense player, already was lying on top of her to uh, block her. So very well done by the Marcos here to, to get into the game of the Castores, but sometimes they come in with such force they cannot hold up the defense. And here they come again on the open side, a second player, the second wave comes in, and this is so hard for the, uh, for the Marcos just to keep this wave after wave um, away from, from them. 
So it's a good game by the Marcos, but uh, the Castores and are the tougher team. team. Yeah. yeah, it looks like fireworks we have here in the water. These little, these little uh, objects <laughs> flying <laughs> through the water, and it's not dirt; it's uh, insulation from the um, uh, from the Dan tiles. Dani, las chicas de Barcelona no ganaron este año, sino que el club de Piranhas está jugando este año a la Champions. And here we are at the basket of the Castores, and uh, the Marcos from the US tried to attack from the close side, and uh, call from the referee. Vamos a ver. End of. He was giving the sign of the end of the first half. Do you know if it's going to be possible to have the microphone in the area of the referees to hear the... Uh, I don't think they the have horn? a referee, and we don't hear the horn uh, so know. far. No, this is, no, this this is, is inside yeah. here. Uh, we will talk to the uh, to our tech guys, and the, the time is wrong, uh, just see. Ah, there. Oh. I found <laughs> the connection to we have here an analog... analog um, Mishpult, it's Mishpult, uh, a yeah. mix, mix, mix uh, mixer. And so, exactly, there is the pool. Hey, everybody, thank you for interacting. Lorena, no ganamos porque se tuvo que cancelar. Ah, tuvieron que cancelar el torneo y no Joana, hola, Joana, ah, bueno. ¿cómo estás? Pues entonces... Eh, Please, uh, if you are in the live chat, uh, communicate with us. We try to answer as good as we can. Tell us where you're watching from. What is your hometown? Daniel Rodriguez. With whom are you watching and with how many people? They want us to sing the goal when they score. We'll try. To sing <laughs> the you goal? Don't, we don't want your ears bleeding. So I think that, you know, we just what keep is, it What is the goal song? Do you know it, Lorena? Well, in Argentina, you really yell, actually, more than sing. It's like, well, they, their ears will explode if we, we know, yell. I don't in want to have, you know, injuries. I, I, tr I will try to sing the next goal. I'm, I'm up for that challenge. Oh no, you started already. <laughs> no, wait, wait, go with the rig too, because they are playing here. We, we, we have the, 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 how you say, the beauty of being able to watch a video of you as many times as we want on that challenge of them. So <laughs> well, well, actually, <laughs> yes. Por Castores, quedan 50 segundos para que comience el segundo tiempo y Castores viene dominando el juego. Eran las, son una de las favoritas junto con el equipo alemán y el equipo de Noruega. Y las chicas de Maco son chicas jovencitas, nos estaban informando que, bueno, el 90% del la, el equipo junior. Así que, bueno, están haciendo un trabajo excepcional, eh, están defendiendo muy bien, pero bueno, se ve que eh, Castores tiene... Eh, un, más experiencia y bueno están siendo el equipo más dominante. So we're getting uh, close to the second half and our time schedule, uh, our time uh, um, display is not right right now. We are starting the second half right now, so we have uh, 10 minutes ahead of us, and uh, what we see there is not uh, uh, right. So it's now we have the right uh, 10 minutes left in the second uh, half, and we haven't started yet. And uh, the Castores are leading 4-0 to uh, the East Heaven Marcos uh, from Co Colombia against uh, the US. We have that right here. He has a microphone, so he has the power to. Uh, I just wanted to uh, tell you that the one of the referees said they really like the caps that the Marcos players have because it's very visible with the yes. numbers, and that's a, a positive thing. Maybe we could try to find out. Where did they get them? Okay. And this should be a standard for world championships. And here we are see back the again. Of the player. Back yeah, again I in the game. I can see them too. We can ask really them if it was Guasabro or it was another brand doing them. Yeah, maybe someone on the live stream yeah. commentary can tell us where they got those exactly. those caps. And uh, here we are in the back in the game, and uh, the Marcos tried to defend again, but uh, the uh, Castores are in the close end. And here the Marcos have the ball, and this is a chance for them to break free into the half. And they do very well here. Two of the Marcos are in the field area right in front of the Castores uh, basket. Second and third player come in from the Marcos, and they have a good push now, and they're on the close side. And the uh, Castores, the only chance of the Castores now is to tackle them away. And this is the first good chance of the Marcos to score here against the Castores. And this is, uh, was tight and was a good chance. And maybe the Marcos uh, just had a good talk in between the, the two halves, and their uh, coach was telling them, okay, you have to go forward to break through 
through the defense and then go in and before the Castores can establish their defense here. So this was a good move and maybe we saw we see a change in the game of the Marcos here in the second half. There's one other interesting point. Although you cannot see above the water here with it, the, the live stream, the walls of the pool are quite high. So for women players especially, it takes a lot of physical effort, a lot of physical effort to get out of the pool. That's true. But that's it is permitted that for the coaches to take, give them a hand and pull them out. It's allowed. Yeah. And they it's should be doing that. Yes. And the referee the even well. advised, I don't know if he should do this, but he advised them, pull your players out instead of having them linger on the side there for a while. Tabrell is like this for 15 years and we had the Turkish team some years ago they were pulling out their players so it's a common thing uh, the coaches are allowed and it's uh, very known because even for my, some of my players and we play here regularly it's difficult to get out here so there thanks for the backup let's go back in the game. Apparently some of the Michael girls are 13 years old and they're playing thank you so much Tabrell. So uh, we have a cluster on the surface here and the uh, Castores and uh, Marcos are fighting on the surface uh, for the ball and uh, the cluster is pushed in the direction of the Castores uh, uh, basket and it falls down in the hand of a Marco player and I have to say in the second half here the Marco players are very good um, to, to uh, be in the game and to... <laughs> we have a fatty cappy uh, now, yeah. We get a lot of presents here in the Thank commentator you so box. Much. <laughs> um, so very good game, very good start in the second half. And the Castores are leading 4-0, and we still have seven minutes to uh, play. It will be difficult uh, for the Marcos to catch up here, but nevertheless, uh, everything is possible in seven minutes, and uh, you only need to make some mistakes. And the Marcos are very, very uh, fast, <laughs> very fast here to control uh, the ball. And here come the Castores for the first time in the second half now, going in on the basket of the Marcos. And maybe this is uh, the turnaround in the second half because the Castores uh, were a little bit overrun by the Marcos here in the first minutes. But uh, they're a very experienced team and they can catch up and adapt um, quite easily to the faster and more aggressive play of the Marcos. Very well done, Marcos. And here we go again. Marcos are trying to break through. The one player with the ball was alone. Now they have a nice uh, cascade of players going forward into the half of the Castores. Very well done. Tackled away. Ball is free again on the open side. And now uh, the Marcos can establish their attack pattern. They really have a different, faster, more aggressive game in the second half. And this is a good chance. There, is no def there was almost no defender under the Castores goal. This is a, another team we see there. Very well done. What do you say, Lorena? Yeah, it's amazing how they recover and now how they are counter-attacking. <coughs> so that the, even the Castoras need to be sharp and, and they yes. cannot relax even a second. If you think uh, they're telling us that some of the girls playing are 13 years old. So really, uh, it's an amazing uh, what they are doing. Um, really, I mean, I, it is four zero, right? I mean, the, the screen just is not showing the score in the second. Yeah, exactly. It's a 4 0, and we have four zero, uh, but about now five we're minutes in the left. Half. Look, it's a free. Let's see. With the first <coughs> Hold on. We can hear the pull there, I believe. And I, I'm sure the Castores uh, um, pull out a little bit of the game. They're leading 4 0. They don't have to exhaust themselves because they have difficult games ahead against uh, superior teams. But nevertheless, they have to be careful. In, in the second half, Marcos had some really nice chances to get into the basket and uh, um, almost to score. So this this would be a, a chance on this. This is looks oh penalty no time penalty no, for time out time out no time penalty time out. There's a time penalty. Ah time penalty. Huh? Ah okay time penalty two minutes sorry yes we this we is have all new. new okay we, we don't know what happened that's the only thing. If if someone from Marcos is watching and knows where I mean how who designed the caps of the girls I mean the referees as Darrell mentioned before uh, the referees are very happy and me too because actually I can really identify yeah. them on the water up so I mean uh, it's a it's a very good design and maybe a solution for the women because I know the solution yeah, for the men is the jerseys. The, the, the problem why you sometimes don't see the numbers yes, is because they have is uh, if the straps the holding straps of the of the uh, mask. I are interfere with it and they look at them they don't have the straps I know, over but the numbers but it's also the numbers are bigger yes. and more visible and True. have a yellow so you have black Background. and yellow so it's, it's made extra to to be uh, and it, i was surprised because i was thinking oh wow i can see the numbers i mean that's really amazing it's true anyway. it's better visibility yeah. 
of this part. So five minutes left. So uh, this uh, last half of the second half of the Castores in blue leading four against East Heaven Marcos in white. And it's a zero for the Marcos and a four lead for and the Castores. And, and that means that the Castores are with five in water and not with six because the ten penalty is for blue, right? And then we have Marcos attacking with all their half. Now it's not it's the chance. This is the, she just did a block and pass it up to their attacker. To the that was a great uh, play. Um, that was the captain of the team. And we have Castoras trying to recover. It's less than a minute from the time penalty. And Orcas will play at 2.30 p.m. European time. Now, let's see. So, Daniel Rodriguez, you want me to stop uh, uh, talking and only <laughs> listen to Lorena? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Guasabro made the caps. Good to know ah, we cool. have... Uh, yep. We have uh, um, Pacho you. here, so we can uh, ask him uh, uh, about the design. He also designed <coughs> our T-shirt this year as well as last year for the crew, the yellow beautiful T-shirts we're all wearing here. Yep. So Castores going uh, in the attack, and uh, we are already at the Marcos basket. Two players from Castores coming in, and this is really dangerous because we saw in the first half the Castores really know how to score, and they break through the... Uh, Marco's uh, defense, even though I have to work, they get in and uh, they they are very good ah, in, in uh, dissolving the, oh. the defense and another goal here. Ah, there was no goalkeeper, it was too late. So it was an easy game for the Castores, it's a 5-0. Sí, las chicas de Marcos venían defendiendo muy bien y les quedó la portería vacía. Y bueno, las chicas de Castores pudieron hacer otro gol, van 5-0, pero les está costando mucho más. They are taking much longer to score yes. than at the beginning. The, the Así the es increíble ver cómo se reorganizó el juego de las chicas de Marcos. Sí, it, it's, it's almost, you, if you see like a different Marcos team from, uh, from the first half, they really adapted their game to the one of a Castores. And a team that is able to change their gameplay so much within uh, 20 minutes, that is really amazing. And you, I'm impressed by their playing because in the first half they were overrun by the Castores, but now they take over over and uh, we only saw three four attacks of the Castores in the whole second half and the Marcos are in ball possession and push really hard on the Castores even though now we see the Castores back again and uh, the problem is the Castores are very much more able to score here than the Marcos but as we heard in the live chat uh, the the Marcos are really young play they're really young game I think you a really young team and uh, they lacking the experience. Another goal here, so it's a uh, 6-0 uh, for the Castores against the East Heaven Marcos from the US. I guess this outcome is not a surprise, but I'm surprised by the way the Marcos changed their game and their aggressiveness in the second half. Amazing. So I think they have something in store here for... Uh oh, I have to sing the goal. I forgot. Sorry. I will do the next one. So another attack by the Na Marcos, and uh, it's uh, one and a half or 1.45 minutes uh <coughs> left in the second half. But I think the Marcos are able to turn this, not to turn this game around, but to score here. And I can imagine... The sing it, sing it. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's too late. I have to oh. wait for the next goal. Okay. Totally forgot it, sorry. <laughs> but that will be the last time you hear me sing because the everybody will tell me to stop. <laughs> Okay, here this is a chance. Wow. One Marco player was one on one against uh, Castores. Wow. This goalkeeper, but uh, yeah, immediately tackled away by a Castores player. Yeah, and the, 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 the Castores play the cooler game here with more experience, with more control in between, even though these attacks of the Marcos are uh, very dangerous for the basket. And here we go again, another chance. If now the Marcos would have had a. Uh, uh, attacker under the basket that would have been the uh, fire for the goalkeeper of the Castores. Eh, muy bien las chicas de Marcos como se han, han, han podido atacar un poquito más consecuentemente eh, contra las Castoras y han casi generado una, un ataque de, de uno a uno y casi o sea fue un, fue un poquito peligrosa la situación donde la la que la, bueno, la, la, la chica estaba con el balón estaba atacando ahora tenemos una de las um, chicas de Marcos que ha robado la portería pero lamentablemente el balón está todavía 
eh, ahí en la superficie y está, o sea, todavía no lo tienen en, en, en control como para poder haber robado el, la portería y hacer un gol de esa forma. Pero la verdad es que las castoras, o sea, no, no se la están poniendo fácil las chicas de Marco, están haciendo un partidazo, o sea, están, están jugando muy bien y más si uno piensa que son tan chiquitas y que no tienen tanta experiencia internacionalmente y en general del rugby. So, this is the end of the game. Uh, Castores, uh, in the Castores from Colombia against East Heaven Marcos from the US. And it's a uh, 6-0 um, for the Castores. Well done, but very well played uh, for the first time for the East Heaven Marcos. Uh, a really good game, really nice game. Impressed by their gameplay. And the next game coming up is uh, Budweiss, Budjovice. Budjovice. <laughs> Budijovice against uh, Boston Awards. So we have another the team, the another team from the US in the water now, but this time uh, the male team. And the referees, let me mention the referees for this game, is going to be the deck referee, Raphael from Sweden, Bob from Germany, and Kaisa from Sweden are underwater. All of them it's very experienced yeah. referees with a lot of... Um, <coughs> It's really funny, Lorena. We have a lot of brotherhood in the not only in the whole community, but a lot of brothers in underwater rugby and even in the uh, in the referees. So we have uh, Manuel and Rafael, and we have a lot of brothers like um, the uh, Tada brothers in Bamberg. We have the Hoffman brothers in Bamberg. We have the Holmberg brothers. Uh, even in my youth team, uh, we have the Köhne brothers, uh, two brothers playing uh, as brothers. So this is interesting. Um, how many? Brother, uh, uh, game rugby players, do you know? Please post them uh, for us. I'd like to write an article about that because I don't. Do you know any sisters, Lorena, playing underwater rugby? No, because there's no underwater rugby in Argentina, and uh, yeah, they and I have well a sister living in Barcelona, but she's not the underwater type uh, rugby type. So it's just me. <laughs> it's so really funny. We have a lot of uh, brothers playing underwater rugby. So okay. what we're up here is uh, the Nawals, it's the first... Cheske Budejovic, Budejovic. Let's call them Budweiss. Why? It's Cheske, it's not Budweiss. No, is it? No, it's Cheske Bude, Budejovic. It's not Budweiss, but it's just under it. Isn't, this, isn't that Czech Sorry. for Budweiss? Czech people, isn't please isn't suppo isn't support well me. Well, I, I, uh, I guess uh, the Czech people know I, I love them. I love their rugby. Last year with Triton Berun, it uh, was just <laughs> great. Um, when Wolf learns a difficult name, he likes to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it because he's so proud he can't speak it up. <laughs> well, compared to you, I speak fluent French, so don't challenge me. <laughs> so what, are, what I want to say, uh, the Nawals have their first appearance here in the uh, Champions Cup. And uh, for the, now say the name please again. From what? The, the Nawals the have their first appearance here in the Champions Cup. But for the the no. uh, thank you, Lorena, for saying it. Uh, for them, it's, uh, I don't know how many times. We, we need more screens here to see all the information we could have. And I know, I know, I know Andreas from uh, the Swedish team. Um, he sent us a mail with the information of the history of the yeah. Champions Cup. But everything here is happening so fast in between the games. And we almost have no time. Yeah. Yeah, we it's always so have no great. time. We did not, I mean, it was, <laughs> I think they posted it in the last days. Maybe tonight I can take a look uh, <laughs> because it's such a great information. But we come from uh, the World Cup of Juniors and we have the Academy and now the Champions Cup and we are trying to catch up with all the information and... Uh, ah, thanks yeah. for the information about the sisters uh, playing on the water rugby from Anna. Thanks, I will, um, I will take a picture of this immediately because I haven't heard of any sisters playing uh, rugby and I will take, because I think we will not save the... Let me take a picture, I have to concentrate, you know, men have problems doing two things at the same time. So yeah, good question. first times... Look, they said that in the, in the Marcos team there are three Bedoyas, Laura, Isabella and Natasha, no, sorry, and Daniela. Are they sister? Does anyone can tell us? Chicos, eh, Laura, Isabella and Daniela Bedoya son hermanas in Marcos? With the Chovice is but wise in Czech. Ah. Thank you, Jan. That's it. Between us, a secret between us too. Don't tell Volvo. Ah, wrong. Jan. Jan, thank <laughs> you. It's not taking sides, but I just, I, I, I'm, I'm really 
careful around Lorena because I have, if I have make mistakes, I, I will hear it for the last half years I made mistakes there. So I'm really careful and if she has another opinion to me, I agree with her first. So I'm, I don't make mistakes, but it's but wise. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that that, that, that one did. Okay, anyway. And yes, they are sisters. So we had the three sisters playing for Makos. Amazing. Wow. 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 I mean, three, three sisters is, I uh, think we th uh, there are no three Th brothers yeah, in the This is, this the is like a, a new record in rugby. <laughs> we need to keep this. So Lorena, what is the game? We are up here. What, what, what do we have to expect? Um, as last year with Triton Varun and Budweiser, they play a, 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 a tough underwater rugby um, and they um, I really much. Oh, I have to sit up here and not <laughs> like. It's <I> almost <laughs> lying. <laughs> and um, ah, look, look the cappy. Show the cappy. Yes, go, I got a cap. We we get really nice. Uh, no, too late. <laughs> <laughs> here. Uh, thank you. We got uh, presents. We got thank a cup you. from the Castores. This is from. And this is from the fatties uh, from uh, Singapore. We had all both of them. I mean, all the 22 of them and the academy yesterday was. Yes. So we can hear now a little bit. Let me know if it's too loud with the pool or if it's good enough that we can follow at least the horn. Okay. Um, like I said, uh, I guess ah, the, the, the coach is the uncle of the Badoyas. Badoyas, Badoyas. Sorry. Thank you. Badoya. Perfect. So cool. keep keep us keep these informations coming in the live chat. We will try to integrate them in, in, our, in our commentating. Please feed us uh, with the live in the live chat with information about the teams and about <laughs> uh, the, the the games here. And then there, thank you, Jorge. You are in front of us. There's two Carmonas. Um, we have Alejandra and in the Marco Charlene team. in the Marco. <laughs> so the they whole have family. three sisters and another two. Well, we are asking. I mean, actually, Jorge Vargas is asking if the Carmonas are sisters or cousins or you know Amazing. they are related. Amazing. Thanks for the information. So again, uh, I have the Galliano brothers too. Ah, yeah, it's true. <coughs> They play for the um, family Boston affairs. For Boston. Yeah. yeah. So um, about the game, Lorena. Tell me. Um, I guess uh, Budweiser uh, is uh, used to a physical. What is going on there? Oh. We have one player sitting on the side. It's one of the Castores players, it isn't it? Like in blue. Yeah. Uh, she has blankets around, and she's. Uh, blocking the teams from starting the game. So if you, s if you look at the screen to the left, something happened here. We cannot see what happened. They tried to lift her up. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. Another player is comforting her. Something happened we did not see. Thank you, Nina. <laughs> Nina is answering. Budejovic, Budejovic, Budweis, Budvar. Das ist fast dasselbe. Danke. Grüße zurück äh, an Nina. Es war wirklich sehr schön, ah. dich äh, in äh, Oberhausen in gesehen zu haben, auch wenn wir wenig Zeit hatten zu sprechen. Ah. Ähm, aber wir sehen uns bestimmt bald wieder. The Camonas are not sisters. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, uh, greetings to the Czech happening. Republic. Um, we didn't say Boston have uh, guests in their team. Uh, we thought so. They are only because otherwise they wouldn't be allowed to the to the Champions Cup here. So they are pure U.S. players who yeah. played in the championship and did win. So uh, we're still waiting for the game to start. Uh, there was an injury or an uh, overround player. It looked like it was one of the Castores sitting outside and blocking the change area. Yeah. So again, what I wanted to say, uh, Budweiser and the Czech uh, rugby is a uh, tough rugby, so they are used to the physical uh, game. And last year with Triton Berun, they have been pretty unimpressed by the play of yeah. the uh, uh, Castores, no, not Castores, but the uh, Orcas or uh, the Rixu. 